What's up, everybody? My name is Sebastian Bleak, and we are off the clock with Mr. Carlos Garro. What's up, bro? What's up? How are you doing? Good to see you. Yep, finally, I can adjust my my network, so I can optimize all the bandwidth. Now you can see me. I like it, If bro. the thing gets laggy, I turn off my camera, but that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> That's all good, bro. No, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, what do you call it? It looks good. Let's see. Let me all see. Right, man. Let me see me. Oh, all right. There you go. <laughs> you, you look I all need right? to, to see for this side because I have all the, the the Skype stuff in the other monitor. This is my my laptop, so you can see me through this camera. Right. I have no camera over there, but I think. We can start right now. Cool, man. And it looks like uh, you've been having a good week. I see you got your hair done and everything. Because I remember a couple weeks ago, bro, you were looking kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this fall, of, of, uh, this is for, for us to graphic. Uh, <laughs> right on. I, I'm in the dungeon for, for a couple of weeks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had you working, huh, bro? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, the, the word is done, so I'm free for, uh, for a little bit. Not so much. Now we're jumping into Photoshop stuff. You get, yeah, we're gonna get away from vectors for a little bit. You cool with that? Yep. Right on, right on. I think it's it's good for us for, to jump into pixels uh, <laughs> once in a while. To uh, <laughs> don't forget about it. Uh, yeah. um, a shout out to to Jesus, our friend Jesus Ramirez. What's up, Jesus Photoshop That's training great, channel. Yeah, it was a great session. Uh, I think last. Thursday, yep. With with the Hannah Group, LA User Group, Illustrator LA User Group, right? Yep. Was a great session. Yep. <laughs> A L A. Oh, okay, so complicated for me. <laughs> <laughs> so and now I I think Hannah is uh, is on birthday today, oh, right? Yeah, happy birthday, Mama Hannah. <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah. But what's up, man? So, We're gonna talk lab mode today. What made you want to talk about lab stuff? Lab mode. Uh, yep. What made you want I to do it? You, I want you. I want to show you how to change the color of the car. In this case, on one card, for the color that you want. You gonna put me on you, game, bro? All right. And yep. Then, and then after that, you're gonna show blended stuff, right? Yep. Uh, it's part of the process. So. Cool. I, I want to talk about how. Uh, I think la 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 b la color mode is for me is the most powerful color mode on Photoshop because it's the reference for all the color modes. Right on. Right on. Yep. Right on. Cool man. So watch I'm gonna uh what do you call it? I'm gonna throw the screen your way if that's cool with you. Actually let's see stop sharing screen. There you go. Go ahead man share your screen. Let me share my screen and let me know when you see my Conisec. It's not mine. <laughs> I want to have, but you know, uh, this car has a problem. They're very small, so for 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 big guys, uh, it's so <laughs> so difficult to get in. And uh, the most difficult part is get out of the car. Uh, <laughs> you lose all your glamour. Uh, <laughs> get out of this car. So I have this car over here. Um, the the. The demo that I wanted to show you today is how I can change the color of this card without using hue saturation. It is the most easy way mm -hmm. because you have uh, some requests and I need you to look for some Pantone color All right. to change uh, this card, All right? Uh, the principle is this, I can grab any color that you want and I want to paint this card with this color. Easy as that. All right, okay. cool. I'm with it. I mean, I have a Pantone color in mind already. Okay, <laughs> let me let me let me grab my regular pencil over <laughs> here to write it down the color that you want. Uh, you can change any color in Photoshop, as you know, for every color that you want. Uh, only we have a, a little struggle to try to, to change uh, for metallic colors like gold, 
silver, aluminium, um, because of the reflections. And you need to spend a little more time if you want to change, for example, this orange color for a white or a black card. Okay, maybe we can we can we can talk uh, about it in another session. I'm with. But not today, okay, <laughs> because uh, we need to spend a little more time to do that. So we can we can start from the the sample that we built today. All right. Okay, cool. So, tell me your Pantone color. My, well, my favorite Pantone color is 2965. 2965. Yeah, that's my Remember? favorite color in the world. <laughs> okay. I hope it's not black. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't think you're going to like the color still, but it's not black. <laughs> okay. I, I want to, sh to check it out. So, uh, for this example, I'm starting the RGB... Uh, photo as you can see right here uh, it's a very small photo for demo purposes so but the first thing I want to do is talking about the channels as you can see ah, here scary scary the channels everybody is no, scared when you talk scary. about channels I know it's not scary because <laughs> it's the core of Photoshop it's all what Photoshop is um, all about uh, yeah it, uh, this is this is uh, this is really the core of Photoshop. The channels, without channels, you can do nothing. Uh, remember when when we make a demo with Photoshop One? Yeah. The only way that we can get things is through channels, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's exactly the same right now. Absolutely. Now we have uh, some fancy tools over the the stuff. Um, but the, the channels is the most principal uh, stuff in Photoshop. Yep. If you, for example, if you want to to save some selection, uh, for example, if you grab the the lasso tool, you make a very special selection over here. If you want to save that selection, <laughs> you go to select, save selection. What happened with this thing? You you save it as a new channel in your document or in another document yep. uh, in this case those documents are the, have the same uh, measurement or you can create your new a new document with this selection but the cool part here if you hit ok and you mm -hmm. create a new channel look you can uh, make some operations between channels also maybe we can talk about this later and what happened is you can save any selection over here. Nice. Okay. And for starters, remember the 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 area that is inside the marching ends is already white. Gotcha. Right here. And the other part is in black. So what's inside of your selection is going to be filled in with white, and what's out of the selection, whatever Photoshop is ignoring, is going to be in black. That's right. Cool. So if I grab the brush tool and increase the size and uh, do you remember the shortcut to change the blending mode of the of a brush yeah uh, dude uh sh i use shift plus or minus to go to cycle through them yeah or you if you if you have your favorites you can you can yep uh, you could do remember? like overlay For has one normal like you i, have I just problem. remember overlay multiplied uh, normal. Yeah, yeah, those are the ones. <laughs> so uh, Shift Alt and M is normal. Yep. Right. So if you can see right here, I have. Uh, I like that. By the way. As... Thank, thanks for uh, for quizzing me on the shortcuts. Yeah. Because I love the shortcuts. <laughs> I know because you are the shortcut guy. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so bad. To remember the shortcut, you know. I I, uh, I I have to admit I need to run it down today. So remember, Chief Al, uh, whatever. Yep. All right. <laughs> as you can see here, I have my white as a foreground color, black as a as a background color, right. because it's the normal mode when you are in the in the channel. Um, and I also have my banana too. <laughs> so that's nice. so, uh, <laughs> maybe we can talk about this later. Yep. Um, so if you paint with white. Actually, what are you doing 
is adding to your selection, okay? So if I load alpha tree as a selection over here, let's take the long way, load selection, alpha tree, hit okay, boom. There is the selection, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, so you can also load your selection using command or control and click directly over the name of the channel. Mm -hmm. Or, you do you remember another shortcut to, to load the selection without jumping into the panels uh, or going to the menu? Oh no, what's up? Can you put, show me? Uh, <laughs> what you got, what you got? Let me, oops. You know, I have a problem because, <laughs> whoa. I already set my my Zoom and stuff. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be Alt uh, Command and the number of the, the, the of number the, of the channel. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work in my computer because already I the Alt option. Sorry, the Alt Command Eight. I use. Uh, uh, the system used for a zoom out zoom in two uh, uh, but if i press alt command six in this case it load alpha one in my in this particular case as a selection you see yep so talking about uh channels is not forbidden for you to use the channel that already exists in your file as a selection, right? Right. Uh, for this particular example, I want to select the the car. Okay, as you see here. Ah, that looks cool. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm so lazy. I don't want to use the <laughs> the <laughs> the path tool to make the selection. Uh -huh. You know, and sometimes you need to 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 be so quick to select. Yep. So let me jump into. Let me delete these channels to better understand. So if I check the channels, hmm, I have a problem here because color, the, chan the channels green and blue are very similar, right? Mm -hmm. I need to, to get a contrast one to select the, the orange color. Yeah. Okay. So I make a super trick right here. I can jump into the layers palette, mm -hmm. call the adjustment. In this case, I'm going to call the hue saturation, okay? Because I want to change this orange, not for the color that you want, but it's just to make the selection, okay? Mm -hmm. And just hit this super bright yellow all right just for that's just so that you can change the channel right yeah but what I, what i'm doing right here is i want to create a more contrast channel to making a selection <laughs> there you go okay <laughs> it's, a, it's cool. a little trick yeah i, I see you i see so you what man. i'm doing cool. i've never seen uh, that before that's dope. yeah i i i create a more uh, contrast blue channel uh -huh. uh, to create the selection. But if you check the, the other channels over here, uh, of course, I need to select just the orange, okay? But if I use the, the blue channel as a selection, uh, I need to get out of the wheels, right? right. right. How I do that? Well, with more patience. Um, you know, sometimes you, you need to put some uh, uh, <laughs> music so you can uh, you can uh, start playing Ipanema Girl to <laughs> when you are selecting, okay? You know, this is like uh, <laughs> music from the elevators, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From <laughs> but not in this case. Yeah, <laughs> not in this case because I want to use... Uh, the channels 
to create my selection. And look at this. This is a super power user tip and technique. Let's do it. Uh, okay. I'm going to the background layer right now, but I'm going to select the blue channel. Okay. I want to make some operations between these channels. So I check in these channels. I see I can use the red one to get rid of the wheels in the blue channel. Okay. So look at this image. Remember calculations? Yeah, old school. Old school. <laughs> Damn, that looks uh, so powerful right yeah. here. So what I'm doing right here is make some calculation between the the channels in this case okay okay i go to use the same source okay the the, the, the file that I already opened right here okay uh, with the merge layers i said oh uh, you are seeing like through all, of them. Layers, all the layers but in this case uh, source one okay let me change this for merge also as you can see blue blue because blue is already select yeah. Um, they start with multiply, but I don't want multiply. And I want to do the following. I want to subtract okay. the channel red from the channel blue. What? There is a subtract operation over here. Okay, you see nothing, right? Right. <laughs> Maybe, but you need to invert your channels and look at this dang that's awesome <laughs> okay then you can hit the okay your the result is a new channel so as i see dang. before <laughs> before i would have taken forever you, trying to select all that man <laughs> sometimes sometimes you need to try it it's a it's a testing and yeah. an error right yep. Uh, but with, with, with practice, you know how to deal with, with channels, okay? But what, I, what I'm doing right here is use a standard yeah. curve to get rid of these um, grades. Uh, I want to make it so quickly, so like this. Okay. And if you have time, of course, it, uh, mm -hmm. I want to let this stuff right uh, exactly as you see, but uh, this is another trick. You select the brush tool and you want to impress your boss yeah. uh, because you are so steady when you are drawing in <laughs> Photoshop. Uh, so what are you doing is you press Shift, Alt, Oh, so you can change your oh, color, you. your mode to overlay. So if you want to get rid of this gray over here, you wrap yeah, your tool, I like that. you paint, and you are so steady, right? Yep. <laughs> because you go to the white, uh, to the black stuff. Uh, even if you jump a little bit, Nothing happens yep. because of the blending mode. Okay, the blending mode. What what it does is increase the contrast. So if the if you are using white over gray, it turns to get brighter. It's right. 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 Uh, if you hit the fifty percent gray, nothing happens. Okay, but if you are up fifty percent uh, gray. You need what what it does is uh, go to black. For yeah. example, in this case, if I press the X key to change the the background for for foreground oh, yeah. color, and press and start moving around here. You see, I'm That's so funny. steady. Yeah. I'm using my super drawing tablet. As you can see, I don't <laughs> tap to the it's just to impress the boss, right? Because I like it. I like it. <laughs> you you are already using some blending mode too to make the yeah. No, that's a good tip, man. I like it. Uh, I haven't used that in a while, but it's it's really clean. It's a good way to clean up your masks. Yeah, 
So our channels. I, I just let me make so quick uh, because otherwise I need to put uh, again the Ipanema girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but suppose it's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> so in that way, using temporarily a hue saturation channel, I have a very smooth selection of my uh, orange color, right? right. It's, this is, I know you can do it in another, using another tool, maybe you can use a uh, color range or whatever you want, right. but this is another way to, to, to do it, okay? But it's another way to work, bro, that's all. Yeah, let's jump into the color that you want. That's the problem, okay? Uh, and take a look at this. In RGB color mode, you have detail and colors living in the three channels, right? Right. Okay. And if you jump into image mode, you have multiple modes of color right here. And for example, for RGB, there are a lot of RGB color mode different be uh, between uh, different monitors, projectors, uh, whatever you want. CNYK, they have a bunch of <laughs> colors uh, because they are so different and you can you can see it right here in edit, color settings. It depends on your workflow, the settings are different. Look, yeah. for example, how many uh, working spaces, CNYK working spaces we have already in Photoshop. Right. It depends on your workflow. There are uh, some workflow for um, uh, offset printing, for digital printing, for newspaper, and there are some standards for USA, Japan, Europe, uh, and some, uh, some very uh, good uh, print shops prepare their own CNYK profiles. Okay. What's up? Does, uh, does Costa Rica yeah. have their own, bro? Do you guys have your own color settings? No, no, but one some of my clients already prepared that their their own CNYK profiles. You know, there you go. Yeah, what what they done is they send they put the, all the stuff in, in their website, yeah. so you can jump into the website and load it. Uh, if you if you need to prepare uh, to send files to print with with date, okay. you need to load these uh, color settings in your workflow. Um, actually, you 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 make through Adobe Bridge, you know. With Adobe Bridge, you <laughs> synchronize all your uh, Creative Cloud. Uh, all your color settings. All your color settings for all the applications. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, I have a North America General Purpose number two. I never see number one. How's that? Uh, what, you didn't like number one, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is the standard one. <laughs> uh, so if you synchronize through Adobe Bridge, all your applications are already sync uh, with this uh, manner of, of, of uh, dealing with color, right? Um, Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, uh, Acrobat already prepared to do that okay cool so as you can see here you have a lot of RGB dang yeah that's a lot <laughs> a lot even more than than CNYK that's okay as, as you can see here it depends of, of what your workload is you need to change that mm -hmm. but there is only one app you you have another one to just to play to to print in black and white be great yeah, just using dot game okay yeah. and you have another one for your spot color or your special colors right but there is only one lab color <laughs> there is only one why because this is the one that photoshop use to make all these transformations of colors. So, right. it's not 
there's nothing to 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 be with laboratory okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i'm like what, what is, yeah. is this science bro it's, it's just it's just a it's just a name it's okay? a science experiment right now bro it's yeah. scary it's just a name it's just a name <laughs> it sounds scary but it's uh, don't worry about it uh and the the good part is you only have one lb color mode in photoshop nice okay in other in other uh, applications um, in this case more scientific applications that have a lot of uh, others uh, lb color space but, but in in photoshop there's only one so that means uh, i'm gonna get consistent color is that what i could expect yeah but what it does is you have um lb color photo and then photoshop start to make all the calculation for example if you apply a curve to a photo mm -hmm. they use the, the the original photo as a reference and make all the calculations to the result gotcha. but it keeps in in the memory the original one right, okay cool. but we can take uh, advantage of this uh, in this lab in this mode, lab, lab color mode, lab color mode. Uh, I I make my move right here, as you can see, and check it out. Check this out. You have a L channel, which is the lightness that you can see right here. Okay. And you have and look at this the all the detail of the photo is already in this channel yeah but the a and b are absolutely with no detail mm -hmm. okay What's up so that? <laughs> ah that's the part of that and you know in the a channel yeah. they leave all the colors through magenta through green Okay. And the color leaves all the color from blue to yellow. Damn, that's science, bro. That's color science yeah. right there. This, this, this is this <laughs> is the weird. But it's so simple to understand. Yeah. For example, if I grab the the curves right here, uh, look at this. You have the lines, okay? Yep. But look what happened when I invert, for example, the A or B. Uh, curve right here. Let me change the A. I'm switching the channels. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right on. Okay. Uh, you know, oh, cool. the, the color that you see right here in the screen yeah. already live in the middle of this graphic. Okay. I just press in the Alt uh, key and click on in the grid to get rid to 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 call all these little tiny squares. Okay. Uh, you know, this is this is weird because that's the number live minus 128 mm -hmm. top and the bottom minus 128. Right. Zero is in the center. All right. Okay. This this is where all the neutral color live. Okay. Right? <laughs> and there is a theory in lap mode when you have imaginary colors. Uh -huh. Okay? Because I can create, for example, a green so dark that you think is black. But it's already is it's not black, it's a very, very dark green. Gotcha. And you can see because uh, it's so dark, uh -huh. like a black, but it's green. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really dark green. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. But gotcha. but you can you can uh, identify as a green with your eyes. Yeah, because it's uh, so dark. Because it's so dark. That right? Makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, it's 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 so weird because you need to imagine the colors. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta use our imagination, bro. <laughs> again, we okay. come to Barney every, again. <laughs> every, week, every week we're Barney. <laughs> yeah. So the funny part on this is you can play it around with LED uh, color mode to to get the color that you want. 
any color that you want without using the traditional uh, hue saturation because uh, let's check for the color that you want I'll just click on the foreground color uh, jump to color libraries and there is no fine uh, space right here but you need to write it down so quickly to 96 this is the, the color that you want yeah is that one too easy for you you want a, a purple one uh, this is easy I'll give you a harder one Two five nine three. Two five. Two five nine three. Nine three. No, I prefer the other one. Okay. This is so. This is this 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 a uh, purple is so easy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go with my favorite one. Two nine six five. Both, man. Two nine six because five. That one's my favorite. It's so easy. When when you when you get the the mask when you get the the right spot of color, yeah. it's so easy. Let <laughs> me write down this. Uh, is this is two five nine three? Okay. I just chose a purple because I thought it was gonna be more difficult. But my favorite color is two nine six five. That's my favorite color ever. Nine six five. <laughs> okay, sir. This is your color. <laughs> As you can see here, there is a little letters on the right side of the color wheel over right. here. As you can see, it's a a b. Right. So, look at the numbers, okay? I write it down here in my little notebook. L okay. equals 13, 8 is minus 7, and B is minus 20, all right? All right. So, what I need to do is... This feels like a magic trick. <laughs> yeah. I need to start playing around with curves, to convert one particular spot of this uh, orange card to this blue, this blue, yep. okay? <laughs> <laughs> but which part of the card I need to change? Well, you need to, to think about it and you need to look um, and make some observations on your, on your subject in this case, where do you think you get the most pure color of this card? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was looking at like uh, by the by the door in the bottom bottom area, like mm -hmm. bottom left. Do nah? you think? Or is that too dark? I think it's too dark. All right, that middle stripe then, like going across right there. This is this is this is a reflection, man. Ah. All right, what about, uh, what? I think it's, it's on the top right there. In the top right cool. there. Okay. So when I need to check how, how is this color? Okay. Yeah. So I jump into the, my eyedropper tool, right. but I need to use different eyedropper who call color sample tool. Okay. Because with this tool, you, you can pin your your colors into the info, info right? palette. Cool. Let me call the info palette right here and look at this. I prefer to change the sample size for the bigger yeah. one. Uh, yeah, this is job. important. If you forget to change that, you get if you jump into point sample. Sometimes you miss the right spot. Absolutely, okay. good point. So I prefer to use three by three or five by five. In this case, I, I want to use five by five. And what I'm doing right here is I look for the spot that we will choose, the hard top of the of the of the card. Right. And I use the color sampler tool and click right here, and boom, this spot is already saved into my info palette as you can see right here right. so whatever any change i make i can check the before and after oh, all right of this particular point uh -huh. that's pretty cool right yeah, yeah i dig it so 
what I need to do is transform these numbers to the one that you choose. Okay. Oh, so what, you got to guess, bro? You got to guess with the curve? <laughs> for, yeah. For better understand, I run down the numbers over here. Let me change my... Look at that, at the fun. That yes, I that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's because I, and I, I, I made, I prepared some, some, uh, sample for another, another session. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's your default, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Trip <laughs> is my default. <laughs> okay, this is the the numbers of the colors. Okay, right. I write down right here in another layer just to to know and for you to check when I make the change. Okay. Right. So what I'm doing right here, I need to change this number to this. So. Yeah, man, how do you do that? <laughs> I can do it using my curves. I'm using an adjustment layer on top of the background in this case. And I need to fix. Oh, I think I got you now. This point over the, the three curves right here. Okay? Got you. So how do I do that? Using the... Um, image adjustment. Yeah. But... I select the two. Yeah. yeah. I jump into here and press Shift, Command, and click over the point. So what it does is save the this particular spot in the curve. Look. Nice. Yeah. So all I need to do. Oh, cool! And it does it for all of them. It sounds so simple. I just select this one, and I already have. Uh, you know, let me move the properties over here. So I need to check the the info palette over here. So I have 62. I need to reach 13. Okay. okay. How? Just moving this side of the curve and using my arrow key yeah. for not moving uh, to the left or the right. There we go. There we go. Getting close. Getting close. Don't worry because at the beginning, the stuff looks so weird. <laughs> okay. And look what I'm done right here. Uh, obviously, I lose all the details mm -hmm. right here. So what, what I'm doing right now is click a little bit and step up the curve a little bit for not losing detail gotcha. over here okay yeah you don't so want a flat curve you don't want to curve bottoming out no. like that so that's cool yeah now we have a very dark uh card mm -hmm. Let's jump into eight i already have 56 i need minus seven so gotcha. it's in the other side of the building <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I need to move, 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 move. There you go. Uh, sometimes, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, let's go back to, let's jump into B curve. Um, this is the other one that has in another side of the building. <laughs> so I need to move down. If I press the shift key, jump are bigger, cool. okay? Because it jumps from 10 and 10 points. Yeah. So I already have it right here. Perfect. Okay. This is crazy, right? Because it looks like something from March. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a drawing. Uh, what happened here? Okay. We have a lot of changes in my colors. If you need to decrease the saturation for something reason, you can do it uh, by moving your curve a little bit okay okay maybe i can do it right here also that's okay because 
uh, as you can see here, I already changed the, the color that we want, all right? So let's move this baby over here, but it's not all right. Yeah, man, what's <laughs> up? What, what's, what what's up? <laughs> okay, what happened? Okay, we changed all the colors of the card, but not the detail, just a little bit of the detail, yeah. right? Over here. So what's the next step? I need, I need to mask this stuff. I uh, remember we prepared a mask before. Yeah. Okay. You can use it as well. So let me load as a selection, load this as a selection. Jump into the curve. What happened? Hmm. No. You need to invert Revert. your selection. Yeah. Whoa, there we oh. go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Almost ready. Almost ready. Almost ready. Uh, you can do it right in this way. Or let me try it out using blending mode. Yeah. I have this example for you right here. You know, I have uh, in Luminosity in Photoshop, you have... Oh, uh, yeah. We're about to get a color lesson, folks. I like it. What's up, bro? <laughs> I got my, I'm getting my notes ready. <laughs> okay. You have uh, 256 levels of luminosity. Yep. From zero to... Uh, 2055. Okay? Yeah. So... Let me explain how blend if works. I have a grading over here from black to white, of course. Mm. We already have the, the, the levels of, of luminosity. If I double click on the right side of the name of the layer or going to layer, um, let me see, layer style blending mode. This is the, the long path, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Prefer double click right here, and you have this dialog over there here who we'll call blend up. Okay. Yeah. Let me let me show you how the blend if works. Nice. You can blend if gray, red, green, or blue. In this particular case, because that file is in RGB. Mm -hmm. So let's try it with the gray. With this, uh, we can call it the detail or the luminosity, right? Right. You have this layer and you have underlying layer. Okay, let's try with this layer. What this does is the, the following. You, if you want to hide the, 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 the luminosity from this layer, you need to move this uh, triangle mm -hmm. from 255 to the left and look what happened in the <laughs> file okay that's cool what you're doing you're moving your curtains you know yeah, uh, yeah that's great you, it, it brings it home you're revealing the happened, image below yeah what happened here is you are hiding all the luminosity part from this the pure white to in this case let me move to 128 because this is the middle of the stuff. It's hard to reach with the work on. Oh, like okay. <laughs> okay. This is the middle of the stuff, right? Yeah. As you can see here, I hide all this part of the layer. But if you check it out, the layer, now you have an indicator that something is changed because of this little thingy over here. But in the past versions, you have no feedback right. about okay. it so if you, you check this and you see that you're going nuts <laughs> because you have, you have no uh, layer masks over here that makes sense but what happened if, if we need to update this double click over here and look what happened let me zoom in a little bit if i separate oh i forgot to show how the other part works it's the same right right if I move this over there, You're I'm moving good. the curtain. Okay, I reveal. Uh, I'm hiding the, Dude, the this dark. Is, this is so cool. Uh, I, I just uh, I want to tell you that because like you know I've studied Blendif many times and I kind of get it, but like 
the way you set it up with that gradient, uh, it really brings it home. So I might have to steal this example for my video on Wednesday. <laughs> this is yeah, really yeah, cool. yeah. Let me, let really me say cool. for you in the, in the, I in like, the share folder. I like the gradient thing because then it exposes the image below and it just really makes it click in your head like what these sliders are doing. So thank you. Okay. So, what happened if I move this, for example, but I need a soft transition here. So what it does is just press the Alt key uh -huh. and separate this little triangle into two pieces. Mm. Okay, this is your transition. Okay. Yeah. I like that. So <laughs> you can do it right here uh, with that, or look at this. I prefer yes. another colorful example. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a little bit complicated, but this, it's actually the same, right? Uh, but what happened if you need to hide, for Dude, example? Dude, this is great. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> the red. Yeah. Okay. Look what happened if I immediately touch this. Boom. Look in the. Yep. The white goes away immediately. The red goes. Uh, the solid what red goes. What happened? What happened? Why? Uh, some people ask me why the the, the white immediately hide. Because the white in RGB have all, all red RGB in in this uh, this value two five five. Okay, so immediately high. But look at the at what happened with the gray. The gray is the last color that disappeared after you're moving one hundred twenty eight. That's crazy, dude. Okay, this is such a good and example, man. <laughs> already, already worked in the. If you're using, uh, sorry, I'm pressing the Alt key. You, you can create some crazy stuff over here. Okay. Oh man, it already looks like some really cool '80s poster, <laughs> like uh, some inspirational yeah. poster. You no, know, I'm using <laughs> I'm using a lot of these uh, functions, or uh, for example, hiding the the channel of one particular layer to create some crazy stuff. Yeah. You can do it right here. Oh man, this is okay. Cool. So knowing this theory, we jump back to our card. So sometimes you can do it using blend if in your curves. Okay. Oh, but man, let me see. try it this time to see if this works. Uh, what we need to hide? We so need I to am, hide this am. layer or <laughs> the underlying layer. And we need to hide the cyan. The problem with RG with, with uh, LAB is we have no access directly to cyan. We have blue. <laughs> oh, but if I start hiding blue, oh, look at this! I like the top like part, like by the window. That looks that looks neat. Okay. That looks really clean. But when what happened here? Well. It's, it's so easy to understand. If you start hiding this blue, this blue have also, uh, the other color have this blue integrated. So we need to reach the sweet spot from this. The easy way is creating uh, a mask, mm -hmm. but we don't like the, the stuff easy, right? right, right. <laughs> to get so complicated. So let me press the Alt option. You know, sometimes it behaves. Boom, right around there, right? Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Without using mask. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. Just moving a little bit the uh, blend if hiding the color that you immediately note as uh, the bad one. Damn, okay. that's so cool. And I don't feel intimidated by it anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, I used it's, to, it's, not, it's, not anymore, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore, not anymore. I think we have a little problem over here. No, it's Listen, already it's getting crunchy done. or no? It looks good. I, I think it's a little crunchy over here. But we can play around a little bit. So the easy part on, on here, remember we have uh, already a 
Ah, uh, look. Look at the mask. Mm. It mess up. <laughs> so, let me get rid of this mask. Sorry. I just painted with white. So, I need to save the details um, that I want to keep in the original color. So, it's so easy. I just grab my brush tool in the mask. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking we have the black color selected. Pressing, moving the, the stuff over here. And there you go. <laughs> you can start playing uh, Ipanema Gear again. <laughs> you know, because sometimes it's boring to see uh, people creating, for example, vectors or selecting stuff, uh, complicated stuff in Photoshop. Nah, this is cool, bro. Besides, we got uh, it's, it, it's cool for us, but some <laughs> people <laughs> get uh, boring. Um, and sometimes I see some tutorials from people creating some complicated vectors. Man, it is so boring because <laughs> they spend hours uh, clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging. Click, 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 click. click. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Starting to look real. <laughs> it looks cool, right? Yeah, it looks really yeah. cool. That looks really but cool. But sometimes you need to play around a little bit if you if you feel something is not good. Uh, for example, you can play around with the curves. No, I'm not so happy with the transitions over here because I think it's so bright. But I can rip of dust, flatten out the stuff. Um, there we go. Yeah, that's helping out. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Boom. I dig it. I dig it, brother. Man, nah, that's super cool, man. Instead of having to bust out the pen tool and all these other crazy stuff, it's kind of awesome. Uh, this just to this watch is crazy change. because you really can change any color using lab color. And I love it because also we can uh, increase. Let me Let me show you how we can do it that we, we can we can create some weird stuff with lab color i have a very good friend with which teach me this stuff called dan margulis he's a it's a very uh very wise man okay mm -hmm. uh, his mantra is there is no bad original okay gotcha there is only a bad photoshop operator <laughs> <laughs> so they teach me so lesson for example with sharpening uh if i move for example if i move this photo to lab color do you know i can select the l channel mm. and Applied a very very strong sharpening. Uh, what he said is, los machos usamos 500 of sharpening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Of course, is there, there is a. I see a little halo. I see it. A little too much. I, think away I see here. a little halo. <laughs> but I want you. I, I want to compare this. Uh, let me let me let me let me keep the numbers over here okay All right. and what happened if i move this over here this is the original one oh sorry i forgot to to do something before moving the let me copy this and apply the same amount of sharpening okay directly 
into RGB mode. Okay. What it does is the uh, following. Apparently it's the same, right? Yeah. But it's not. Oh, I can I can see the details. I can show you the details over here. Because what it does, it mess up with the with the colors in a different way. What about uh, you do a split? Uh, split uh, show show the uh, RGB on one. And, okay. Uh, and the Let lab me... and the other. Like a split view. No, you know the problem is that the photo is okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it works with bad photos. Okay. <laughs> ah, you can see it right here. Look at this. Uh, look at the colors. Okay. Yep. The colors have no noise mm. in LED. But if I jump into the RGB sample, look how aggressive the the noise became. Yeah. See? Absolutely. That that's the difference. Uh, so you can you can make some damage to the photo without losing. <laughs> that's that's the that's the point of that. Okay. Oh, it's, cool. it's, it's the most powerful uh, color mode for me. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it gives you more access to the details in that image. So that, that in itself is super huge, man. Oh, that's super cool. Dude. You know, right now cameras are so cool. But in when when the new, when the first cam uh, digital camera came out, it was so awful the photos. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have some examples, but this is really really bad, man. Some <laughs> big. I I think it looks like you have uh, one pixel between inside of one big pixel. It's so awful. Now we have this detail. Uh, with an iPhone or a Samsung phone. Yeah. It's so easy to do. So, just to finish, uh, this is how you change the, the color. Oh, you know, let me, let me create a sample of this color over here. What is the color? Two, two nine, nine, six, five. Just to compare, to see if we <laughs> if we does. There we go, dude. I, I'm happy with it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, now pay me. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, bro. You got it, bro. So check oh, your PayPal. This is this is this is very useful if you want to. If so, you have some hard um, client or who needs uh, to change the color of uh, some vehicle, some especially in fashion, also yep. can change the color of the fabric uh, with just one click. Ah oh, man, I dig it. But dude. You, you need to you need to play around a little bit with the curves and the blending modes and, and blend if stuff. But it's so so simple, right? Yeah. I dig it, man. It's uh, you get. Nah, man, it looks cool. I I, I want I want to try it. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I gotta try it. Yeah. I, I can try. save this sample for you in the share folder. Yeah, cause dude, I get asked that a lot too. Like, how do I change the color of a thing? Like, you know, you create a product and you want to have different versions of it. So. You know, you know just... that's that's the way when the people who who sales car change the color of the cars. Yeah. Because uh, it's a light, and you think that they, they take the photos of every single every color single of the car, one. right? Yeah. So yeah. this is this is one of the the workflow that it works with that, Dude, all right? That's cool, man. Thanks. All right, bro. Let's see. Let me and share my screen. Yeah, man. Thank you for that, Carlos. That was dope, brother. Let me see. I'm about to. Uh... Do you have uh, now? You need to share you. I gotta screen. share my screen with you, huh? Sure. Let's see. There we go. Now I can move my my camera over here. <laughs> yep. There we go. We have a superpower tip and trick today, right? 
Yeah, man. So it was funny that uh, I was, it's a bridge day today, right? Because uh, you mentioned bridge earlier. <laughs> And that's you know, much it's, what mine's gonna it's, be I think I think this is this is uh, this is important to mention. So people forget to install Bridge mm -hmm. sometimes yep. because they don't know how to use it. Right. Uh, <laughs> and this is this is my 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 starting application every day. Bridge. Bridge. That's when you start off with. Yeah. Yep. I start from Bridge, I have all my folders over here, uh, access to my folders, sorry. Uh, but this is the starting point. And yeah. I think the name has the meaning, right? Yeah. It's the bridge who connects all the applications. Yeah, the bridge, like in my mind, I was like, uh, I thought of like a bridge that you walk on, but somebody told me like, no, the bridge, like um, like in Star Wars, Star Trek, you know, like the command center. Like like command center, the, right? It's the command it's center. The you run everything from from bridge. So um, what I like about it is if you're a person that jumps between different types of, let's say you're on Windows one day and you're on Mac another day, if you use bridge, it's kind of all the same. Like uh, it, it makes it a little bit uh, like, because it uh, it just fa it's a good way to uh, handle your files. Uh, that's yeah. what I like about it. But uh, for me, actually, what I wanted to show you guys today was um, pretty much something that I needed to use Bridge for earlier this week. Uh, so I had a ton of like images. These are just like some whatever images I took uh, with the old phone in the backyard. And basically, here's what I was doing. All right. Hit, uh, once you have one selected, hit the space bar. All right, cool. Now it takes over your entire screen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then... What you do is you could cycle through them using your different arrow keys and you start choosing which one you want. So like this one right here, this one's bad, right? So, uh, kind of, <laughs> yeah, cause I just, I don't know. Know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was my main thing. I was trying to take, I, was, I took a bunch of good pictures. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. All right, Carlos. So, uh, do you know the keyboard shortcut to reject this? Oh man, I can remember Let's see. <laughs> command now press. I don't know. Delete key. I just hit delete and it asks you if you want to reject it or delete it or something like that. So I okay. hit reject and then we could just keep cycling through these. Now, the other thing that I like about it is like, all right, a lot of these look alike, but for some reason I like this one. All right. Yep. So I want to give it a rating. So I'm going to rate this one like, let's give it a three. So I'm going to do a uh, command three or control three. And then on the bottom left, it gives it a little, star, a little rating system. See, it has three stars on the bottom left. Yeah. All right. So I could just keep cycling through. The rest of them don't have any anything like that. So as I go through them, let's see. That one looks cool. I'll give it a three. Uh, I like that one. That one to get a three. That one I like so much. I'm gonna give that one a five. So it's a uh, control five for that. So all the keyboard shortcuts are control one through five. All right. So I'm gonna hit escape yeah. to get out of that. The other thing I did was notice over here on the left we have this little panel here. This is the most powerful stuff because <laughs> you can filter all your files, yep. not just your photos. Yeah, so like if you have uh, JPEGs, PSDs, and uh, PNGs, and you, you just want to focus on one, you use this Aspect filter. Radio, um, what, what else? Yeah, Aspect Radio, kind of, of file, keyboard, exposure time. Whatever you want. <laughs> so like here, what I'm doing is like, I just want to see all the three star ratings. All right. So it got rid of all the pictures that I had in that folder. And it's just showing me the three that I gave that, that star rating to. And now like when I look at it, I'm like, you know, what? this one's a little bit cooler. So I'm going to hit control four. Notice it removes it from my list. It's not gone from my system. It's just over here. So now I'm looking at three star and four star ratings. And here I'm adding five. Now I just want to look at five only. Now yeah. the last thing I was going to show you on this is let's say I'm looking at these these guys right here. These are my three star ratings. Uh, but I actually decide, you know what? I don't like that one. I could uh, do Control Zero, and it removes the rating completely, or you could reject it. I like rejecting them because you could just kind of like you just don't have to deal with them. They're just gone. You know, they're out of your view for a while. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to show for bridge. Uh, real quick tip. Now the other, I'm gonna give you two quick tips. They're super quick. They're so quick. I wanted to fit two in there. 
The other one was uh, one I was about to give you, Carlos, because I saw you had all your recent files right here and stuff. I think one of them uh, might have been an important document. I don't know. So, like, <laughs> so what do you call it? To make sure that you don't show stuff like that. Here you go. Um, over here at the top, under File, yep. Open Recent, Clear Recent File List. Boom. Do that, and then they're all gone here. Now, for me, the reason that's important, Carlos, it's kind of embarrassing. So, <laughs> because I demo a lot. And yeah. uh, what do you call it? I'm also I'm also in, in my fitness thing right now, right? So I got to take progress shots. And sometimes I put them into Photoshop. So it's kind of embarrassing if I'm going to do a demo in Photoshop. <laughs> and all of a sudden people see pictures of me with my shirt off. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try, try to act like I'm buff or something like that. <laughs> so if you don't want to be embarrassed like me, guys, just go I, I know, I know, I know. I I I understand the feeling. I see uh, Maria Alejandra doing also the <laughs> same stuff, so, yeah. following the progress of your fitness stuff. <laughs> yep, yeah. But I mean, it could be anything, dude. Like I mean, um, uh, any kind of retouching projects and stuff like that. Like if you have something on here that you pretty much you know. Oh, don't sometimes want to be you need off. to hide some confidential information. Yep. Uh -huh. So it's a, it's a it's a very important tip. Yep. It's just a cool yeah. way to get rid of all that stuff, get it all cleaned up out of the way. I use it a lot. Like most of the time I'm just going to be on here telling you guys stuff that I use throughout you need the week. to week, use so. it before starting the presentation. Yeah, yeah, I use it all the time before I jump on a presentation, before I do a video, if I'm going to do a live demo. Uh, you need to, to turn off the all the uh, how do you call notifications yep. from your computer. Yep. Uh, cleaner, clean all your browser uh, cache for something. Dude, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, that's that's really crazy. It's crazy you mentioned that, Carlos. A little side note on that. I'm doing uh, a course with uh, with a new company. I'll be able to tell you guys about it like in a month or two. And well, yeah, dude, one of the things on there it says like, you know, to make sure you don't have any kind of crazy browser history. Like, dude, I'm just imagining like. Uh, what do you call it? The ads that come because they were talking about like ads coming up on the site if they're inappropriate. I'm like, whoa! I could just imagine the problems people run into with like with that type of stuff. But I'm glad I never had that issue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I a good friend have this experience uh, in one in one demo uh, years ago. Wow, uh -huh. man, was some so embarrassing. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? What happened? Can you share? Yeah, but, but, but it happened. <laughs> he's, to ask. he's making a demo uh, yeah. with Acrobat and and showing how that he's showing some system who works with Acrobat and Macintosh, and he's using a Safari browser, right? Right. And some guy uh, in the back asks, "Hey, how do you deal with that with Firefox?" Man, when this guy opened Firefox. Oh woo, no! <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I mean. That's what I mean, dude. That's what I'm saying. Oh man! And mine, uh, I I did pretty much the same thing, but mine was like YouTube videos of people working out and stuff. And I'm like, ah, turn it off. <laughs> oh man! So yeah. Sometimes you discover so so weird stuff from from people you think you know. Yeah. He'd be like, hey. I didn't know you were like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but this is so funny. But that's all I got, man. I just want to run through a quick one. Uh, we've been on for what? Almost an hour and a half now, bro. We're about to be on for an hour and a half. So, um, yeah, man. What did you think? You good with that? <laughs> yep. Cool. So you and like and tomorrow you, you have a session with, with Michael, right? Michael Mondragon. Yeah, we're going to be talking about, uh, what do you call it? God, what, smart objects. Smart, gonna, smart objects. I can't I remember I just couldn't think of the name. I was gonna say Vector Smart Objects, but it's Smart Objects with Michael Mondrag, and he's yeah. uh, he wanted to come on and talk about Photoshop, uh, and so I was really happy he was gonna talk about that topic again. Something that kind of trips people up, so I, I think it's good we come on here and talk about it. Yep. Uh, what time do you you start? Let's see. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think we come on at. 6 p.m. I believe. Let me double check real quick. 6 p.m. Yep. is my 7 p.m. your time. 7 p.m. So. Yep. And then uh, next Monday at uh, 3 p.m. So 4 p.m. your time. 
Uh, I'm going to jump on with my friend Gary. He's going to show me uh, some of his workflow stuff. And uh, that should be fun in Illustrator. Cool. But yeah, bro, thank you for showing me the uh, the lab stuff. So I've seen that demo. Uh, I've seen you sh show that demo before. I just watched it and was like, okay, that's super cool. And then I never thought about it again. This time yeah, when well, I, <laughs> this, this, I This is the same demo that, that we did. Uh, remember, uh, Sally creates some very, very crowd group of people who teaching five minute uh, Photoshop tips. Yep. It was like the Avengers. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Avengers stuff. Victoria, Pavlov, Teresa, uh, what else? Mar Sebastian, uh, Jim Babash. Yep. A lot of people, man. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, I just remember seeing it. I was just like, I was like, oh, it's really cool that Photoshop could do that. But then I was like, I don't know if I would learn to do that. Today, when I watched your demo. Uh, actually, actually, Jesus prepared some... Uh, uh -huh. On tutorial, using using this technique, uh, I I I'm just looking. I can send you the the, the link uh, cool. tomorrow, maybe. All right, for, sounds cool, man. For better explanation. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Our friend Jesus. But <laughs> like, yeah, if, if you don't know about Jesus Ramirez, make sure you go check out the Photoshop training channel, man. Just. Yeah. Awesome resource. Uh, I mean, go to the website. There's so much uh, cool stuff on there. You can check out the portfolio, the hands work. Uh, He's like one, Iron Man. Man. Yeah, <laughs> one, Photoshop. Of my, one of my favorite <laughs> things Batman. that he took a part in was the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, God, um, where he's recreating the master, lost masterpieces. I forgot the name of the, the exact title, but. I think it's, it's the, this, is, this is the name. Lost masterpieces. Lost masterpieces, and the reason I he think that's super cool is because they're recreating lost artwork with new digital techniques, and he's using Adobe Stock. So it's like I'm using just blown Adobe away. Stock. I'm just blown away by the whole thing. So go check that out. At the very least, if you want to check out some tutorials and stuff, make that's, sure you that's go to, crazy. Go to his uh, YouTube channel. It's a uh, Photoshop training channel as well. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Yep. But um. Seeing your lab session today, man, it uh, made me want to try it. And um, uh, if it's cool with you, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your blend if example and just do a quick demo on blend if. If anything, yeah. for myself, I want to make a video for myself so I could look back at it because no, no, I, I, let me tool. let me save the the file for you in our chair folder. Cool. And you can use it. Even the the butterfly photo is mine. Okay, so cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. You can use it. I just like how you revealed if, like if the image make, behind. It, only it if sense. you make super super famous, you need to pay me some royalties. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. Otherwise, <laughs> you got it. Bro. Otherwise, uh, we're cool. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> now that you install your astute yeah, uh, we're cool now, tools, and you're using your Wacom. I hope. Yep. Yep. I got okay. uh, my Intuos <laughs> uh, medium. Intuos medium. Okay. Yep. Let me blend if. All right, Mr. Carlos. So what's up, bro? You got anything else you want to say before we head up out of here? Nope. All I'm just right. going to to practice with my big kick driving lessons. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. He's, oh, man. he's crazy about it. Uh, <laughs> Tell him I said so, what's up, man. Tell him I said what's up. Congratulations. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> All right. Oh, dude, that's so cool. All right. Well, check so, this out. Make sure you hit us up on Twitter. Uh, you guys got Carlos's Twitter information right there. Take a screenshot of that. Or you can hit me up on Twitter right there. Take a screenshot of this one. Uh, hit us up. Let us know what you want to see over here on OTC. Or we're just going to chop it up like we're off the clock. Just, you know, two homies talking about nerdy stuff. And, yep. um, yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got some tutorials on there to show you how to work with Illustrator and Photoshop. You already know where the Twitch channel is, so just spread the word, tell people to come check us out. And uh, that's it. Next week, Carlos will be talking about Illustrator. Does that sound cool to you? Yep. All right, cool, man. I already have some, some examples for yeah. next. You already got something cooking, right? Yep, I'm cooking something. <laughs> nice. All right, bro. All right. Well, let's get out of here, man. Let's get some tacos, bro. You ready? All right. Okay. <laughs> there is no tacos here, so... <laughs> okay. All right, brother. Thanks, man. All right. Bye.